Our top story today, the man accused in the deadly truck attack in New York is being held without bail after being charged with federal terrorism crimes. Seifulo Saipov was charged Wednesday with providing material support to ISIS and violence and destruction of a motor vehicle. At least eight people were killed in the Halloween incident. Two of them were Americans. Two men and a woman are dead after they were shot at a Walmart in Thornton, a suburb of Denver. Authorities are looking for a man they said entered the store Wednesday night and randomly fired a handgun near the cash register. The gunman then got away from the store in a red Mitsubishi four-door hatchback. Police released a surveillance image of the gunman and the suspect vehicle. And the Houston Astros are World Series champions. They beat the LA Dodgers in Game 7 by a score of 5-1 to one to capture the franchise's first ever championship. Adding even more emotion to the evening, Houston shortstop Carlos Correa proposed to his girlfriend after the game on live TV and thankfully she said yes. On to Crime Watch, a Billings man is behind bars at the Yellowstone County Jail after he allegedly tried to burn down a house in central Billings. 43-year-old Edward Halverson faces one count of arson and four counts of criminal endangerment. Investigators say Halverson intentionally set a home on fire early Wednesday morning on the 700 block of Terry Avenue. No injuries were reported, but the fire caused major damage. The fire at 735 Terry Avenue was called in around 1.20 Wednesday morning. Billings police say Halverson cut the gas line to the house water heater and then ignited the gas. Flames caused an estimated $150,000 in damages, leaving heavy damage in the basement and smoke damage throughout the rest of the home. Halverson was arrested after he was questioned by a Billings police detective. It's not clear what Halverson's motive was or if he lived in the home. In court news, Michael Spell, one of two men who was convicted and sentenced for kidnapping and murdering Sydney school teacher Sherry Arnold, was denied his appeal. The Montana Supreme Court affirms that Spell was mentally competent when he pleaded guilty in 2012. The court agrees that Spell knew at the time that his actions were wrong and had the ability to stop himself. It was January 7, 2012, when Sherry Arnold disappeared after she had gone for a morning jog in Sydney. Both Spell and Lester Waters eventually pleaded guilty. With Wednesday's ruling, Spell will continue to serve 100 years in prison for deliberate homicide, but could be eligible for parole in 25 years. The court also ruled that sentencing Spell, a person with some intellectual disabilities, to prison is not a violation of cruel and unusual punishment. Continuing our coverage, a voter-approved initiative named Marcy's Law has been voided by the Montana Supreme Court. Marcy's Law sought to ensure crime victims and their families have rights equal to those accused and convicted of crimes. But Wednesday's ruling states the initiative violates the state's constitution. In the 5-2 decision, the court found that Marcy's Law made too many changes to be covered by one constitutional initiative. Almost two-thirds of Montana voters supported the measure in the 2016 election. Wednesday's court decision came in response to a legal challenge filed by the ACLU of Montana, the Montana Association of Counties, and the Association of Criminal Defense Lawyers. While Marcy's Law will not become part of the Montana Constitution, state law still offers assistance to, victim, to crime, uh, victims of crime. Yellowstone County Attorney Scott Twido says the court ruled on procedural reasons and not the merits of Marcy's Law. He says 14 of 18 parts of the Victims' Rights Act are still in place, even without Marcy's Law, and can help crime victims. We were doing a lot of it already. Again, we just sort of beefed it up. We sort of tried to fine-tune our procedures to try to better serve our residents here, and uh, I think a lot of that we can still go forward with. Most of what is contained in Marcy's Law was already contained in our Victims' Rights Act and has thus far been found to be constitutional. Twido plans to talk with Billings Police Chief Rich St. John, Yellowstone County Sheriff Mike Linder, and others in law enforcement about the best way to help victims of crime. On the campaign trail, the clock is ticking down to this year's municipal elections set for next Tuesday. Keep in mind, this is an all-mail-in ballot election. Officials, officials say if you haven't already mailed in your ballot, your best bet now is to turn it in in person to the elections office at the courthouse. You have until 8 p.m. on election day to turn 
turn it in. For Billings and Laurel, this election will shape the next four years as both cities elect new mayors and city council members. For Lockwood, the hot ballot issue is the potential creation of a new school district, which would allow Lockwood to build its own high school. So far, as many as 32,500 ballots have been returned out of the 78,000 ballots that were sent out.